Craig Cohen 87 here for episode 63 of the Iron Den. It's going to be a back day. Looking forward to it. I'm actually a little bit more tired than I was yesterday. My ankles are a bit sore. I don't know if it's because I'm heavy or I need to stretch more. But they are bothering me a tiny bit, but it won't affect my back. And my lats, believe it or not, are still sore. They're not sore, but I feel them a bit. From last week, I destroyed my, uh, my lats last week. I'm going to do it again. I love doing back on Tuesday. Going from a Monday to a Tuesday has made a big difference. You know, I've always said that training is 90% mental and only 10% physical, and I stand by that. Uh, whether or not you have a good exor- a good day in the gym really comes down to how you're feeling. It doesn't really come down to your physical anatomy. Your, your body is just going to do what the brain tells it to do, barring an injury, obviously. But barring a, like a, a broken arm or something, yeah, your, how you feel in the gym is, is, a, is a subjective thing that's, that's interpreted by, by your thoughts. So it's all mental. How much effort you give, that's mental, that's not physical. Uh, tolerating the pain, that's mental, that's not physical. You know, staying in and doing what you have to do and not just giving up, you know, that's, that's, that's mental, that's not physical. And then all the prep work that goes into it, like bringing all the shakes, all the water that you need, things like that. You know, the, the, the preparation is also mental because you got to be, you got to have to not forget to do it. And, and, all right, what was my point? I just forgot it. Yes, it's mental. That's basically where I'm, where I'm going with that. I don't write anything down. I just do this all off the top of my head. You're just, you're just hearing me think. I'm basically thinking out loud. I'm talking to myself, really. But yes, yes, it's all mental. Everything is mental. The only part that isn't mental is picking up the weights. But other than that, everything is mental. What you do with the weight, the direction the weight travels in, that's all you thinking about it and controlling it. And good technique is mental too, right? You practice it because you want your brain to memorize it. So just remember that. You want to be in a good state of mind. But for a lot of people, going to the gym puts you in a good state of mind. It's like their happy place. It's like kind of a meditation. That's certainly what it is for me. And I just enjoy my time in the gym a lot. But, you know, it is hard work. And I can't stay there all day. So I try to stay under two hours. Anything more than two hours is overtraining. And I don't want to just do the reps. I want to I want to do the reps with everything I have. Junk volume is not helpful. Anyways, enough about the mental and physical part. I think you got my point. So yeah, uh, it's almost seven o'clock. I'll be headed to the gym. We'll wait in at two thirty six point eight this morning, which is a pound down from last week. But I expect my my strength to be exactly the same. So let's see how it goes. See you in the gym. All right. I'm back in the gym where I love it. First exercise is going to be machine pullovers. Last week I got 225 for 10. I want to do the same weight, but I'm going to try to go 11 or 12. But again, no cheating. Quality over quantity. Let's do this shit. Let's get adjusted. Deep stretch, deep stretch. Ah, Full range of motion. One. Control the negative. Hold the stretch for a second. Two. Deep stretch. I just, I can't go deep enough with the stretch. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Control that negative. Eight. Nine. Ten. 
11, control, control. Ah. Woo. 90 seconds begins now. All right, time for set number two. Down to 180. I got nine last week, so 10's the goal. Double digits. I don't want to do single digits. Ooh, that feels heavy. Big stretch. One, control the negative. Two. Control, control, control. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I'm on fire. Eight. Come on, keep going, keep going. Well, nine is it. Slope. Slope. Ugh. 90 seconds begins now. Third and final, down to 135 or starting weight. I got 13 last week, but now I'm thinking about it. That was a lot of reps, 13. So I'm thinking I may have sped up and sacrificed quality for quantity. So I'm not promising 13, but I, I'm promising you a failure. I'm promising myself failure. Let's do this shit. Eight. I'm going numb. Nine. One more. <sighs> Control. Control. Ah. All right, let's go hit some chest supported T-bar. Right. It's time for my top set. Chest supported T-bar, one of my favorite back workouts of all time. Starting with 100 pounds. Last week, I got 12 reps. So my goal is at least 12. Perfect quality. I'm not expecting to set any records today. But it's always a good day to set a PR. Remember, it's always about quality over quantity. Oh, yeah. Deep stretch. One. Control the negative. Two. Elbows down. I almost want to drag the weight to the bottom. Three. Big stretch. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One more. Eleven. Ooh. Very good. All right, it's time for a second set. I'm cutting the weight in half to 50 pounds. Last week I got 14, but I don't feel 14 in me. But I feel high quality, so failure.
I want to go so slow, I, I can't hit 14. All the way down, stretch out the lats. There you go. One. Two. Three. Four. Control the negative. Five. <laughs> Ten, two more. <sighs> Eleven, oh my God. I'm on fire. Ah, hold it. Slow. Whew. 60 seconds begins now. All right, it's time for a third and final. Cut the weight in half again to 25 pounds. It doesn't sound like a lot, but on this machine, weight's very heavy, which is good. I like it. I don't have to spend uh, an hour going to collect plates. The ego is left at the door. All they care about is tension on the muscle. So I got 10, 12. Let's, let's aim for, for 14. Last week I did 35, so I'm actually going down a bit. All right, let's do this shit. All the way down. One, see, I felt light. And two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Oh, yeah. Muscles. I reached failure three times. Can't be happy with that. All right, let's go see what else is next. All right. Time for another staple of the bag. I'm going to be doing cable pullovers with a forward position. Well, with an emphasis on the forward position. So I'm going to lean as far forward as I can and then come back up to neutral. And the idea is I'm never going to lose tension on the lats. Whether or not that's actually going to be literally true is remains to be seen. But in theory, that's how it is. Last week I did 100 pounds for 11. So, you know, anything in the double digits I'd be happy with. All right. Let's do this shit. I think I'm going extra slow today. Which is good, but it's kind of fucking up my progressive overload. It's very important that I do everything the exact same way, or else the numbers I'm writing down are irrelevant. But I'll save that rant for another day. Yeah! Straight back. Get those lats nice and opened up. One. Control the negative. Two. Three. Four. Five. Control that negative, baby. Stretch. Six. Seven. Open, 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 open. Eight. Nine. Nine. 
10. Eleven. Ah, Twelve. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Very happy with that set. Lats are on fire. Doing this after the T-bar makes, makes this feel easy because the T-bar is very hard. All right, 90 seconds begins now. The time for set number two. I'm going to drop the weight down to 70 pounds. Now, last week I got 10 reps out of it. I beat the first set by one rep. Usually that means I won't translate because I gave a little extra. But maximum effort. Let's see what I got. Anything double digits is good. Oh, boy. Not now. This happens, guys. This happens. Ugh. There we go. All right, so I'm taking a four-hour break, it seems. Am I exaggerating? Slightly. But you get the idea. Ooh, what that feels like. All right. Open those lats up. Open them up. More, 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 more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, getting hard. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. All right, I beat that by one. Very happy with that. So far, my first few sets have been excellent. 90 seconds begins. All right, what's this? Now. All right, let's hit a third and final. Down to, I want to say, 52.5. Last week I got 15, which is, which is too many. So I'm going to make sure I go super slow. If I fail on nine, I'll be happy. That's how slow I want to go. Oh, yeah, that's light. Open, 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 open. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, yeah, this is getting hard. Eight. Nine. One more. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Not exactly a failure, but burning the fuck out of me. Very happy with that. All right, let's see what's next. All right, time for the last exercise. It's going to be lat pull down wide grip. I'm going to do 100 pounds. I can't go based on what I did last week because I used a different machine and the weight does not match up. It's not apples to apples. It's apples to oranges. I'm going to do two sets, 30 seconds apart. I'm going to do this in one shot. Again, I want it nice and slow. Nice and low, nice and slow. 
Let's control the negatives. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Open, open, open. One. Two. Seven. One more. Eight. One more. Nine. One more. Ten. Ah, oh, slow. Another one. Eleven. There we go. Twelve reps. I'll take that. Let's go from a hundred to sixty. Thirty seconds is not a long time. Let's go write that down. All right. I'm ready. Let's go again. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Ah! All right, let's go find a place to pose down. All right, let's go ahead some posing. Front relaxed. Side jab. Front Ooh. 
All right, let's go hit that one more time. Feeling good? Only slightly out of breath. Front relaxed. Not bad. I feel better with my breath. Still got to get the backings completely under control, but this is definitely a good start. We'll finish this up in the car. Alrighty. Another back day in the books. Very, very good. I know my lats are going to be killing me for a week. The workout lasted an hour and 38 minutes, so it ran a little bit long even though I skipped a couple of exercises. And the reason I skipped it is because I have a flare up in my left forearm. When I'm pulling on it, I feel like a, a mildly sharp pain in there. And that started last week. So I had two options. I could either keep going or try to work around it and not let it get too bad. And that's what I did. I have to make sure that it heals because I do not want any long-term injuries. And uh, I'll let my coach know when I email him on Sunday, and we'll see what he says. But uh, my, my, my lads got, got to baked. Very happy about that. Definitely like doing it on Tuesdays. Don't ask me why. It's psychological. It's mental. Anyways, very good workout. My posing, again, felt good. I was, I was, I was less out of breath. I'm able to hold the vacuum better, although it's far from good. It's just better. But I'm going to be practicing it at least five days a week. And the goal is, uh, well, the goal is, if I want to turn pro, to be a professional at posing. That, that's the goal. And it's going to take years. But remember, I think in terms of years, not in terms of hours, minutes, or days. Anyways... I'm very, very hungry. I want to go home and eat. It's very important. I had my post-workout meal, which was a protein shake and some carbs with a little creatine mixed in. And now I'm going to have my avocado, rice, and ground beef. Do all my prep work for tomorrow. And then have my rice cereal, which I love. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on the Iron Den. Peace out.